Welcome back. So throughout this session, we will discuss about creating a site collection. After you complete successfully creating your first web application, it's time to go and create your first site collection. I think it's better to go directly to the SharePoint Center administration and look about it in a practical way. Then let's come back and discuss from Microsoft point of view. First of all, here is at the Center administration. I will click on application management and here is that you will find a dedicated part to call it site collection the first part here is about create site collection in meantime i will explain to you in which case you need to create a site collection after you complete creation of the web application which is about logical block as we discussed in the last session you need to start using the SharePoint by creating a physical site collection, which it will be represented by a security barrier. What I mean, for example, right now you have a scenario, you have an organization which have a different department, definitely. Each department will have some employee and those employee have a different access. For example, at HR department have some confidential document it shouldn't be shared with information technology department. So in that case, you need to create two site collection. One of them, it will be dedicated for HR department site collection, and the other, it will be for information technology. So any site collection, it should be based on web application. And here is it, it's about Microsoft Central Administration, the first question here which web application should host this site collection if i click here change web application here is that you can find training which we created before i can choose it and the next one i have to determine what will be the title of this site collection i can give it a name as we discussed could be information technology and we can give it here a description let's have the same one like that so as at that one it will be the first site collection you are creating here it will act as a root level site collection okay let me go here later on and discuss about you know define manage the path but not right now right now i will keep it as it is as a default after that, you have to specify a language of this site collection. Do you remember before, like uh, five, six uh, sessions before, we discussed about adding a language to the SharePoint? Here is it, I think we added before the French. So you can see here two languages, English and French. But right now as well, I will go with English. And as you can see here, each site collection should have a dedicated template. Okay, you can choose team site, developer site, community site, and inside enterprise, there is a lot of template over there. Inside publishing, publishing portal mostly used for intranet. As we can see, there is, you know, some template. For me, I will go as well with the default one, team site. If I scroll down, the last part here, who will be the primary administrator for this site collection? And the last part here is about it to configure the primary administrator for this site collection. This guy will be responsible to grant permissions to other users, revoke permissions, and even delete that site collection or do whatever he wants inside that site collection. You can specify primary site collection and as well you can specify secondary site collection. So in my case, I will say administrator. He will be the primary site collection administrator and here is that we will discuss about quota later on right now i will keep it as it is as a default no quota and let me click and here is that it. it's created successfully i will open that one in a new tab and in meantime i will go back to application management and here is it. we have a very good option it's called it view all site collection this page gives you an option to view all the site collection list inside a specific web application. So if you click here, change web application, 
I would like to view all the site collection inside this training web application. I will click here. And after that, right now we have only one site collection inside this web application. As you can see, here is it, the information about it, the URL of this site collection, title, description, primary administrator, and even though which database is hosting the content of this site collection, definitely it will be the same content database of this web application. And here is that the first site collection you have been created successfully it's of template team site and let me come back again to microsoft slide here is it and discuss what about site collection site collection it's about two things first of all site template you have to choose which template do you like to use team site publishing my site whatever and second part as we agreed site collection is act as a security boundary between different departments that's why you need to specify who will be the owner of this site collection which we call it primary administrator or secondary administrator later on we will discuss more about site collection like what is what is about uh, quota uh, what about you know define manage the path and what about if i would like to choose different uh, language and what about different template stay tuned and i will post more sessions about that one thank you for watching and see you in the next one